The Master's 8 has been revealed for Pokemon Journeys and the cast is looking to be exactly what we expected, with the exception of one character. Here comes the only non-champion in the entire Master's 8, ranking in as the 6th strongest trainer in the world. We have Alon. Making his debut appearance in the Pogo Mega Evolution specials, Alon is a character who started off as a research assistant for Professor Sycamore in order to study the secrets of Mega Evolution, and later joined Lysander in his research efforts on Mega Evolution, thinking that Lysander would end up using said research for peaceful purposes. Due to this partnership, Lysander had given Alon and his Charizard a Mega Ring and a Charizard Eight X in order to battle and take down as many Mega Pokemon as possible to collect research data on Megas. Along his journey, he ends up meeting Ash and sees his Greninja use the Bond Phenomenon and is amazed at how Greninja could take on a new form without the use of any Mega Stone. Alon challenges Ash to a battle and a new rivalry forms between them throughout the XYZ series. To the point where Alon is inspired to join the Chaos League and get all his 8 gym badges within 7 or so episodes. He shows a spectacular performance in the league with his Pokemon and makes it all the way to the finals against Ash where he proves to be the winner between the two winning the Lumios Conference. And while he doesn't have the title of champion, after winning this, he sure is on the same caliber as the rest of the known champions are. During the award ceremony of the conference, Lysander reveals his true intentions of using the research for evil purposes, and Alon is forced to turn on him. He, Ash, and many other notable trainers, including Masters 8 competitors Diantha and Steven, all work together to stop Lysander and save the world. And after these events, Alon returns to be Professor Sycamore's assistant on Mega Evolution and gets rid of his old Mega Stone and Mega Ring since he received them from Lysander and told Ash that he would start again from scratch just like him and strive to find and seek new ones. Knowing this, it's real interesting seeing Alon in the roster of the 8 strongest trainers in the world. Yes, there's no doubt about it, Alon is incredibly strong. Not only has Ash never beaten him, whereas Ash has pretty much beaten Diantha before, but Alon and his Charizard have also fared up against Mega Rayquaza, Primal Groudon, and Zygarde. Their craziest challenge, however, has been taking down 10 Megas consecutively back to back. And on screen, they've been shown to defeat at least 12 different Megas, which is something I don't even think some of the champions in this tournament could do. But why join the Pokemon World Championships if he's once again Professor Sigmar's assistant? It could be that Alon wanted to do some more research against Mega Pokemon and that the Pokemon World Championships was a great way to go about doing that. The aforementioned friends and competitors of Ash, Steven, and Diantha are all using Megas in this tournament anyways, and it might be possible that we see some surprise Megas from other competitors too. Or it could be that seeing Ash in this tournament fired up Alon to compete and get back into business, solely for fun and for the sake of the rivalry. He did end up getting all 8 of his Kalos gym badges rather quickly after all, so it's possible he just saw Ash on TV recently and made his way up the ladder rather quickly. Either way, Alon's intentions and motivations for joining the PWC remain unclear for now, but it is incredible seeing him in the anime once again, especially as the only competitor in the Masters 8 without an in-game counterpart. Alon has 6 known Pokemon, all of which are Pokemon that he used against Ash during the Lumios Conference Finals. Alon's known Pokemon is a regular Metagross, which I hope could rival Steven's own shiny Metagross, another pseudo-legendary in the form of Tyranitar, the speedy and deadly Weavile, a third dark type Pokemon in the form of Bisharp, his aerial battle around Pheasant, and of course his ace, Charizard. And it looks as if Charizard will indeed be able to evolve into Mega Charizard X in the Masters 8 as well. Between him and all the other Masters 8 competitors, I think the three best contenders for him to go up against would of course be the three other Mega Evolution users and the three that he's already met, Diantha, Steven, and Ash. I think most people are expecting Ash and Alon to face each other and Ash to knock out Alon out of the tournament in the quarterfinals. But I personally think since Alon has such a strong tie to both Diana and Steven, it would be ideal and make more sense for him to beat either one of them in the quarterfinals and then lose to Ash in the semifinals. This would indeed hype up the long awaited Ash vs Alon rematch, show both trainers skills and make the battle even more tense, and give Alon the respect he deserves before inevitably losing to Ash. There is of course the chance that he doesn't battle Ash at all, however since Alon is one of Ash's only rivals who has never lost to Ash, I think this battle in the tournament needs to happen. Since Alon did renounce his old key ring and Mega Stone, the ones that him and Charizard are now wearing for the Masters 8 must indeed be new. And while it would be great to see him use Mega Charizard X against Ash, I think to turn the tables a bit and give a surprise factor to the battle, 
it would be cool to see Alon use a new Mega Stone in the form of Charizard Y in one of his first battles. If this battle does end up being with Diantha, then Charizard as Mega Charizard Y won't be held down by Mega Charizard X's Dragon typing and give Alon more of an advantage, even in the mental playing field. But since we already see the Charizard X on Alon Charizard, that may be an unrealistic guess, but I mean, hey, they gotta sell all the four different kinds of Charizard merch somehow. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you stay tuned for the next Masters 8 character breakdown and for some more anime content. Take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys on the next video, alright? Later.